Hi, I'm Joni Ravenna, and this week we're coming to you from San Diego's premier destination, the Grand Del Mar, heralded by Condé Nast Traveler as one of the world's best places to stay. Nestled amidst the Los Penasquitos Canyon preserves, the Grand Del Mar has been voted the best hotel in the United States in a recent Global Traveler Reader Survey. This premier Southern California resort destination seamlessly combines the old world charm of a Mediterranean estate with the modern luxury of an elegant resort. Given the sun-drenched climate, stunning natural beauty, championship golf course and irresistible dining epitomized by Addison, Southern California's only five-star and five-diamond restaurant, there's little wonder this is considered one of the world's best resorts and deserving of Condé Nast Traveler's Gold List. Here with Sean Cox, who's the director of the golf club at this gorgeous Grand Del Mar Resort. Boy, oh boy, what a beautiful course. Tell us about this. The golf course is uh, Tom Fazio Golf Course. It's the only one in San Diego. We're nestled in 380 acres, which is quite large for a golf facility. It, it meanders through a bunch of canyons. It, it's got a lot of wildlife out there. And great part about it is you don't see a lot of other people when you're out there on the golf course. Uh, and I understand they're meticulously groomed. We saw someone cleaning pine needles off the course. It's, uh, we've got a great crew, and we do a lot of things that are, make us a little bit special, and a little bit different than everybody else. But we've got a bunch of tees out here, so it, the course will meet a wide range of handicaps. It measures anywhere from 7,160 yards to 4,800 yards. So someone who's not the greatest player in the world can still have a good time. Oh, for sure. The tees are, you know, 4,800 yards, and we've got a great four caddy program as well. So if you're staying in the resort, we put a four caddy with your group, and the four caddy will actually make you more comfortable out there and help kind of guide you around the golf course. And they'll actually help you read the breaks on the greens, which is always helpful. I mean, it's heavenly is the only way to describe it. Now at the Academy, can I get a lesson from you? I'd love to give you a lesson. We're going to work on your game and get you ready to play the course. Let's go. Session day. The Grand Golf Performance Academy provides guests with the ultimate golf learning experience, a unique combination of industry expertise, cutting edge technology, and world class facilities. It's spread out over seven acres of practice area and it has the latest in golf technology, such as SAM, Putt Lab, KVES 3D technology and online digital video analysis to help golfers hone their skills. High definition video equipment is offered for all golf instruction, which includes one and two hour lessons, full and half day programs. Prices for the grand experience begin for as little as $175 for the ultimate day of instruction, which includes short game technique and putting analysis, swing evaluation using the Golf Biodynamics 3D system, intensive on-course instruction, and a physical fitness evaluation with a Titleist Performance Institute staff member. In addition, a complete 90-minute putting evaluation, including SAM putting stroke analysis, is also available. So while they have all this wonderful high-tech equipment, I can still get an old-fashioned golf lesson from you, right, Sean? For sure. Okay. For sure. You were telling me about my grip. Okay, so I want you to eliminate this little move that you make before you take it away and adjust the grip over like mm -hmm. this. I want you to take the club away from this neutral position. Okay. And as you take it back, I want you to let the club open and close as we're swinging the club. Okay. Okay? So... Don't adjust. Okay. Beautiful shot. All right. That was a nice shot. Thank you. you. You're a good teacher. Thank you. Well, that was really fun, and I felt good about that. Now, Sean, could we go maybe play one of the holes? Let's see what we can do out on the course.
So this is a beautiful hole we're on, Sean. Tell us about this one. This is par four. It's number four. It measures all the way back to 480 yards. There's also six sets of tees, so you can play closer on the hole. On the first shot, you get a beautiful view of the property. You get to see the resort off in the distance over here to the right, and you can actually see the clubhouse up there as well. And then after you make this marvelous drive in between the beautiful bunkers out there, your second shot goes to a green that looks like it's elevated. It's actually on a little peninsula out there about 200 feet above the next hole. And so it looks kind of like a vanishing pool. And as you can see, it's got some beautiful bunkering. That's one of the things that Tom Fazio is famous for is his bunkering. It looks very natural, like it fits into the terrain. So which hole is this, Sean? We're on 17. It's uh, part three. It's got the beautiful water here. It's 148 yards to the flag. Okay. All right. Can I get a quick uh, a tip? I know we got that wonderful lesson before, but what, what's a quick tip for this hole? For you, what happens is, is you have a beautiful grip and a beautiful setup, and then right before you go to take it away, you adjust everything, and it changes the club face, and it changes your grip. I want you just to go from here and just, and just start your swing from okay. there. Okay. Beautiful. Much better. But why does that feel so weird out here? Because you're so used to regripping. <laughs> Just pull back. Beautiful oh. shot. <laughs> you're a good uh, instructor. Now, on this putt, got the high point over here on the green and the low point down here, so it should go right to left. Okay. And at this distance, about three, four feet from the hole, great shot. I would probably just play it on the edge of the cup. So okay. aim it right, about right there. Okay. So I don't need to go up too much higher than that? Nope. <laughs> Great shot. Thank you. For the junior golfer, there's the Titleist Performance Center. Dr. Greg Bros and Dave Phillips founded the Titleist Performance Institute way back in 2004. It was created to look at all aspects of golf performance. TPI helps golfers play more golf and better golf by understanding the importance of the body and how it affects swing efficiency and equipment fitting. In addition to golf, Grand Del Mar has three restaurants, Amaya, Club M, which is part restaurant, part nightclub, and the world-renowned Addison. Southern California's only five-star and five-diamond restaurant, the Addison's master chef, William Bradley, was recently recognized as one of the top five celebrity chefs. His approach to cooking combines local ingredients with contemporary French influences. Gayot.com calls it one of the best restaurants in the United States. San Diego Magazine called it the best of the best, money no object. There's a wine room strategically located in the center of the main dining room, and the sommelier, Jesse Rodriguez, has been voted San Diego's best sommelier by San Diego Magazine. They've also won multiple national awards for their most extensive wine list and Wine Restaurant of the Year. Well, no visit to any Southern California resort would be complete without an afternoon of complete pampering. And you can get that right here at what Spa Magazine is calling the U.S.'s favorite new spa. Reflecting the beauty, grace, and culture of the Renaissance period, 
The spa's opulent interiors embrace you in a soothing color palette of earthy creams, beiges, and taupes. Sparkling crystal glass tiles, graceful archways, warm wood accents, and imported white Carrera marble further accentuate the romance and elegance of this lavish retreat. Guests are encouraged to arrive early to take full advantage of the numerous offerings in our separate male and female lounge areas. Both lounges feature plush robes and slippers, complimentary water, top quality spa products, and artfully appointed relaxation rooms. From the Grand Del Mar, this show has really been a feast for the senses, and it's going to be a tough one to top. But tune in next week to see where we go then. Until then, this is Joni Rivetta saying goodbye, Paradise.